Hey, YouTubers, it's Dan Strong with Excel VBS Fun. Thanks for tuning in. We had a user, um, I believe his name is Justin, um, who has was trying, um, he was making some um, folders using an auto folder creator macro. And I guess uh, was running into some problems. This should be a very quick um, piece here. Where what he's trying to do is um, take this name J1, and he's making a folder. I guess uh, starting with N drive, right here slash J, and then he wanted to add J1, and then uh, maybe like the history folder within that folder and images within that folder and then QC within that folder so but when he copied it across I guess it wasn't working or something so uh, I would like to address that a little bit I think it's just a matter of putting the quotation marks in the right spot so we will um, we will check that out here it looks like let's see where is J folder J folder is seems to be a named location here that is over here okay I see what he's trying to do. We can try to emulate that here on this uh, master sheet for our demonstration. But I think instead of doing a slash J1, the best thing would be to put J1, use this cell that contains J1. So I'm going to put a slash and I'm going to end the quotation mark right there. And then um, I'm going to join that with the ampersand. And now you see that it's gone green. It now that the quotations are not anywhere near this J1, it treats this as a cell reference. But of course, I actually don't want that to be J1. I want it to be uh, cell C5, which contains J, the word J1 in it. Also, uh, you want it to be able to copy down, but you don't want it to... Uh, or, yeah, you want to lock in row 5. So I'm going to hit F4 and I don't want to lock it into C I just want to lock it into 5. So now that C can move to D or E or F but the 5 will not allow it to go downward. It will be locked onto this row here. So hit uh, enter and now we have N slash J slash the J1 folder and then uh, as we copy this down we want this first one to be slash history so uh, this one's going to be equal to that ampersand and we'll use a slash history okay then this next one is going to be equal to this uh, ampersand quote slash images I think it was and repeating the same thing here only QC so equals this QC folder end quote okay so that will actually be copied so we can copy this across and you see that let's just take a look at one of these <laughs> we now have J2 because it's right there and we have uh, J3 J4 and then they just take the slash history or slash images or whatever so that's how you can copy that across and if you didn't want to keep on doing J4 and J5 and whatever you could have something different like maybe J600 or um, blah it's all, always classic right we'll go ahead and copy this a little bit more uh, that being said, if you wanted to get real crazy with cell references and you had some random number or random words or whatever, just because this is easy to copy, I'm just going to um, I'm going to say equals this ampersand quote or no ampersand uh, yeah quote slash Go ahead and end your quotes and do another ampersand because we're going to join that to this. Now, again, as you copy it from left to right, 
you will want it to lock into column B, but not any certain row. So hit F4, uh, F4, F4. Okay, so now the B is the only one with the dollar sign, so it'll be only locked into column B, but the, the row, you can change that. So that being said, as you double click here to fill down, oh well, shoot. Let's see. Let's lock C6 in as well. Um, we want to lock that one into row 6. So, okay. Now we can uh, copy that down. And then if you copy it across, you'll see that um, these are all in the appropriate folders. So you have the blah folder slash QC, the blah folder slash Jan, Feb, all the way to August. You also have the J600 folder the J4 folder and then you just uh, highlight whatever the heck you want run your macro and voila you just made um, 72 file folders now how long would that take you to do if you didn't have this macro a long long time <laughs> hey uh, thanks for watching guys I hope that helped you